So I've been using this tail fin top tube bag for a little over a year now and I thought I'd run through some of the things that I really love about it but also one of the main issues that I have with it that's actually now almost stopping me from using it. So I need a new just storage solution for the bike uh, because of some of the longer rides that I was doing and I had a little look around online. I originally had a top tube bag that had the velcro straps that were around the frame but they never just seemed to stay secure for me especially when I was doing off-road gravel uh, they'd always wobble and I'd end up hitting my legs on them so I had a look at the tail fin stuff um, I couldn't find one in Australia to go and have a look at so I just had no choice but to order it online and this is the 1.1 litre bag now the main advantage first thing with this bag is the mounting system now it does have the option if you've got bolts on your top tube to fix it down but none of my bikes have got that so I have to use the straps provided but Tailfin themselves have come up with their own mounting solution on these bags they have like a, a V mount I believe it's called on the underside and they also then work in conjunction with the I think these are called both, I don't know, bole straps or something like that? <laughs> I don't know. But they're these rubber straps. And when you put this on the bike and then you wrap around the straps and cinch it down, this thing doesn't move. I've sent it down some really stupid sections of gravel that are probably more suitable for downhill and also done fast road rides downhill on it. Even fully loaded, this thing doesn't move. It's absolutely rock solid. Um, and I don't think I've ever actually rubbed my knee on it. Now on the inside, um, it's pretty much just one big compartment. There is a, a little pouch on the side that you can slip your phone into. Um, and there's also a little port at the front. So... If you've got a battery bank in this and you or maybe some headphones and there you go <laughs> you want to run a cable out um, you can do it I also unfortunately got stuck in the rain last year for about five hours straight and this was the only bag that I had on my bag on my bike that didn't let in any water it was absolutely phenomenal I can't can't emphasize enough how good it was um, now there are two types of closings that you can get on these I went for the I think it's like a magnetic the strap one and it's brilliant mainly because I can just really easily do it one-handed even in winter whilst wearing gloves so easy just to open up um, and it will flip back shut for you so it's not just flopping around on there and I wanted to get that instead of the zip because I always find I have issues with zips um, the good thing as well with these tail fin bags is they're creating a bit of an, their own ecosystem which is fair enough and I would like to get a frame bag in the middle to carry a little bit more things I haven't got there yet um, just for some upcoming trips but the beauty of it is is the mounting points for the frame bags align with these ones on the bottom of the top tube bag and so what that does is it just creates a really nice one aesthetic you don't have straps going everywhere um, but it just means all of the bags stay seated to the tubes as much as possible um, I have tried using another frame bag with this and <laughs> the mounting points are weirdly all very close to each other um, and it just doesn't quite work unfortunately now I'll run in this normally food or a power bank or my phone um, and that is actually probably the biggest problem that I have with this bag. Now when I ordered this, this was the 1.1 litre, um, I didn't want anything I guess too large or just I wanted to keep it as small as possible but I actually find that it's so good that I want to use it more and it's just not big enough 
So if I were to buy another one of these, I'd probably go for the larger 1.5 litre. Um, although the phone fit fine in the little pouch or a battery charger, by the time you've got it stuffed full of things, um, I just want to put some more things in there on the longer rides. So the biggest mistake that I've made with this is actually just buying a size too small. Now one other thing that I can't emphasize enough is when this came, um, unfortunately one of the straps was missing. Um, they normally come with I believe two or three straps of different lengths. I actually had one missing which was a slight annoyance because I bought it for a ride that was that weekend and I was really panicking when it turned up. So I contacted the company and bear in mind I'm in Australia, they're in the UK. They somehow got a new replacement straps out to myself that week. I don't know how they did it. Um, I've never had shops, even in Australia, manage to get me things out that quickly. So their customer service with these things has been absolutely phenomenal. So I don't think I'd probably stray from this brand any further for the near future. So I'd like to really, I'd like to know for people if you've got one of these. Have you tried the mounts in the middle? Um, have you tried any other bags? Is there anything that I need to know about with these? Um, and yeah, I've got a, a couple of ultra rides coming up towards the end of this year, and I'd like to use this. And hopefully I'd like to put some other bags on the bike. Um, but I'm keen to know which ones people have found work well for them. Um, maybe which ones to stay away from. But yeah, if you are looking for a bag, I highly recommend this. I now use it on all my bikes, road, gravel, or out with the wife and kids on her mountain bike. So quick and easy to take on and off. Rubber mounts mean that it doesn't damage or leave any marks on any of the bikes that I've ever ridden. You never even seem to get any sand or grit or anything under there. Um, so it's a really, really fantastic product. Just make sure you get the right one. Um, <laughs> and then probably go down the slippery slope of buying all of their bags.